Well, hello everyone, this is Peter Brown with Wilkinshire Weather for the next seven days. I know it's hard to believe that we're heading into the middle of October, so fall is definitely marching on by pretty quickly. As we start out our period on Friday, we're supposed to be seeing temperatures at this time of the year in the mid-60s, and it's going to be nearly 10 degrees cooler than on Friday. We're going to have bright sunny skies, a brisk wind, and temperatures only in the mid and upper 50s. So get a hold of that sweater or that light coat and make sure you have it with you. And if you're going out at night Friday night into early Saturday morning, seeing temperatures way down into the 30s, so a chilly night, but definitely typical for this time of the year. Now as we go ahead and we look towards the end of our period, getting to the Thursday time frame, we should be seeing temperatures at that time of the year only in the low 60s, and we're probably going to best that by about 10 degrees. That's right, the 70s are heading back to us, and we're actually going to have a fair amount of days this period coming up. We're going to see temperatures well up in the 60s to near 70, so even though fall is coming on by us, late summer weather is still with us. The only reality check to this really is, look at how early the sun is going down, going down at 6.11 at night. We actually only have a couple more days left and the sun will be setting before 6. So as we go ahead, let's take a look at what the Climate Prediction Center is calling for us in terms of temperatures and precipitation over the next seven days. And again, these maps, nothing to be surprised about, pretty much the same that we've had since Memorial Day. We're looking in the Burlington area and all of New England and actually the eastern two-thirds of the U.S expecting at or well above average temperatures. So a real summer feel to the air still here in October. And unfortunately for our precipitation map, there's nothing unexpected there either. Here, especially in Southern and Eastern New England, we're definitely looking at the chance of below average precipitation. So unfortunately, looks like we have no help in terms of the drought coming up for the next seven to maybe even out to 10 to 15 days. Doesn't look like we have any organized systems you're going to have quite a bit of tropical weather in terms of storms and hurricanes down the Gulf, but it doesn't look like any of that precipitation is heading towards New England, unfortunately. So as we go ahead, let's take a look at our seven-day forecast coming up again, starting on a Friday. Our temperature's pretty crisp out there, only in the 50s with a brisk wind and chilly at night. But of course, look at this as we go into Saturday and Sunday. Our temperatures go way back up into the middle 70s. So if you can be out and about this long weekend, enjoy it. It looks like we have some beautiful weather coming up. Now, as we get towards the end of the period, we're going to be getting, you know, a little bit cooler as we start out the week on Monday and getting into Tuesday. But look at Thursday again. Again, a chance of maybe a few spot showers. Doesn't look like anything really organized, unfortunately. But temperatures, again, well up to near 70. So our temperatures are definitely staying well above where they should be at this time of the year. But unfortunately, our rain is well below. So everyone, get out there, enjoy the weather, and have a great week.